Hello Mindful Foodies, Inga from Health Origins here as, and as you can see, um, you can hear probably from my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, my voice is kind of disappearing, but um, I've heard of, um, a while ago I've heard of the Selenko's protocol that, you know, can help with um, colds, flus and apparently even with COVID. So I thought, um, you know, I need to try it. And one of the ingredients there is quercetin. And you can buy it in the shops um, together with zinc, vitamin C and vitamin D. But um, you could also make quercetin at home from, believe it or not, citrus peels. So this is um, peels of... Um, grapefruit and you know I've got some peels from lemon as well so those two peels and some water and you can make yourself this golden liquid that's got quercetin in so instead of you know looking for quercetin in the shops you can actually make it at home so I'll show you how I did that we're gonna need three grapefruits and three lemons. So my lemons here, as you can see, are in waxed organic lemons. So we don't need to take wax off of these. We don't have wax already. So all I'm gonna do with them is just wash them. So my lemons are washed now. I also washed the grapefruit, but because they probably have wax on them, um, we wanna uh, dip them in like a kind of boiling water bath for a few seconds. So I've just boiled water, so I'm just going to pour it in a bowl here. So I'm just going to dip my um, grapefruit in this water, try and roll it round. Just leave it for two, three seconds before fishing it out on a, on a paper towel. And rubbing it off so that hopefully should get rid of most of the um, waxes that was on the grapefruit so I'm gonna do the same I've got two red grapefruits one white I don't know actually which one is better but I tend to think that the colored ones obviously have more pigments and you know possibly more healing power so I took two red ones one white so hopefully we removed most of the wax now. Now we're ready for the next step. What we need to do now is to peel um, the, the fruit and we're gonna need the peels. And obviously the fruit itself I'll be eating, but I'm just gonna peel most of the, um, the skin and the pith. Because, you know, the skin and the pith is where you get the active ingredients to make the quercetin. I like peeling it that way. You might want to just, you could also just peel it as you normally would. That works as well. There we go. So that one is ready for me and Mark to enjoy. So I'll do the rest with these. And with the lemon, just the same. I'm just gonna peel the skin. So this is a good way of peeling grapefruit. So I cut off the um, the end bit, and then I do some little incisions into into the skin here, not too deep, and then that just kind of helps you to peel these um, these kind of things in a petal fashion if you like and if you're not going to eat um, your grapefruits or lemons straight away just keep them in a closed kind of tub container in the fridge and they'll keep for a few days now I peeled all my grapefruits and lemons and um, what I'm going to do I'm going to just chop my peels into smaller more kind of manageable pieces it'll be easier to boil that way as well I've got my citrus skins prepared now and here I've got some um, purified water um, if you don't have um, you know 
purified water. You can use filtered water or maybe bottled water. Tap water is not the best, but yeah, you could, you know, if you don't have any other, you know, uh, water, yeah, you can make it with tap water as well. It's just kind of this way. Uh, I know there's no chemicals or anything nasty in in my um, quercetin. So I'm going to add three cups of water. And we want it kind of to slightly nearly cover um, the skin. So that's about right. Because they obviously rise to the surface as well. And what we want to do now, we want to cover it with the well-fitting lid and, and put it on a kind of slow simmer for three hours. And you don't want to keep on opening. You don't want to open the lid at all because all the oils and all the kind of volatile oils, you know, if you open it, it'll come out. And that's what you want. You want those oils in there. So, you know, simmer it for, get it to boiling. You'll hear when it's starting to boil and you know reduce it and simmer on low for about three hours and then let it cool down completely before you open the lid the pot has boiled for three hours and it also has fully cooled down so let's have a look mm, it smells amazing and citrusy so what we want to do we want to pour the liquid into a glass jar that we can store in the fridge so I'm just going to put a little funnel on there and then I'm going to pour it so yeah it's looking really nice golden liquid oops there's also quite a lot of liquid in in these um, peels so what I'm going to do I'm going to put them in like a nut milk bag and I'm going to squeeze it all out so this nut milk bag looks a bit disgusting. It's discolored, but it is actually clean. So I'm gonna just put all of my peels in there. I'm just gonna use my hand, because I wash my hands. Just gonna put all my peels in here. Yeah, you don't want to waste this golden liquid. There's a lot of liquid coming through. So yes, yeah, so I think I've pretty much squeezed it all out and I'm gonna put these peels now to my compost as well. Now this golden liquid is ready. Um, so apparently you need to use two to four tablespoons of this liquid a day. So um, since I really want to get rid of this gold, I'm going to use four tablespoons. I'm going to just add them there. Four. And let me give you a taste test. And now on to the taste testing. So I presume this will be quite bitter. I mean, it's medicine and it's taken from the skins of the uh, citrus fruit. So I think it might be quite bitter. So let me try this as it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, super bitter. So what you could do is you could put some maple syrup um I'm gonna, I haven't got maple syrup, but I've got a vegan honey. So this is like a fruit kind of syrup that tastes like honey. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that to kind of sweeten it up because it's quite bitter without. So let me put, I put like a, a teaspoon or so here because otherwise it's not very palatable. So hopefully once I've sweetened it a little bit, it might be a little bit better. I mean, it's medicine after all, so you know, I wasn't expecting it to taste amazing. So let me try again. Mmm, tons better. Now I can actually, you know, drink and swallow it. <laughs> Maybe you could even put a slice of lemon in there if you wanted to. Just to kind of add a little bit of sweet and sour. Um, you know, to counteract the bitterness. But yeah, so this is... 
the homemade quercetin. I hope this video was useful. Um, let me know if you try it, what you thought of the taste of it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos. I normally produce two videos a week. I haven't been doing as much lately because I've been on holiday and now I'm not well, so I might not be able to put in, you know, two videos this week. But, but yeah, um, I definitely try and put two videos for you. And if you have been following me for a while, you know my motto of the channel is food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. And in this case, food is also our medicine. So the best medicine comes from nature. Until next time.